Hey guys, today we are going to learn about Imagine Systems Mocha, which is a uh, relevant and highly used software in our VFX industry right now. And uh, talking about Mocha, the company which provides or which developed this tracking software is Imagine Systems, and uh, they use the platform, the planar tracking platform. Uh, for this software and it's very useful because it follows pixel patterns through the most difficult conditions such as uh, the when the objects is going off screen and uh, some objects are when and objects are partially obscured even out of focus objects also also tracks well in this software and uh, uh, it, it is really helpful for uh, the compositors because the tracking is really easy in mocha so right now we are going to learn how to open a project in mocha and this is the basic step so we can speed up the tutorial a little fast right now i'm going to open the mocha pro 5 version which is the latest version and uh, this is the software this is the interface and right now we can just click this start we can directly go into the software and uh, the first step is that we have to create a new project we can see the file new project and new open recent files like in any other software we can see the shortcuts here so we are going to create a new project and this is a new project window we can see the uh, highlighted option here import clip right now we are going to import a clip here and this is the footage and we just selected the footage automatically the other options are filled up this is the name this is the name of the footage if you want to rename it you can just rename it here as as you wish and i'm going to rename it at v00 the footage underscore zero zero one and uh, the location the path where we are saving the file it automatically uh, fills the default footages path and we can if we want to change it we can click the change button here and we can show the path of afterwards and uh, mm, this is the footage we loaded into mocha and the default frame is zero to two eleven here one we can see an option add if you're working on a stereoscopic project there will be two footages right and left uh, so we can uh, load the left footage into this area and uh, we can add a add one more footages by clicking in the add button and they just uh, if you just click see other option also add up so we, uh, we want only one footage so we just deleted this area and the um, footage is ready we can see the uh, frame offset here this frame offset is pretty uh, important stuff because uh, if the footages is starting from 500 and by mistake we loaded the footage 0 to 2 level 11 uh, so what happens is if we tracks here and if we export the track into some other compositing applications there the track seems a little bit odd because this uh, in mocha it starts at 0 and there it starts at 500 so it will not match so we have to be constant uh, we have to concentrate in the start frame we have to be aware of the start frame so right now the start frame is 0 and I am just uh, keeping this as zero and uh, these are the stuffs which are pretty common the frame rate is 25 frames per second and the pixel aspect ratio is HD that is one automatically filled up this is filled and pulled down means interlace for interlace footage uh, this option will be handy handy and this is views for stereoscopic projects right now I'm not going to use it so advanced is for caching the clips and color space changes and all so this stuff uh, we can edit afterwards also so right now we are going to um, just click the ok button and what it's showing is that i already saved the file in the same name so i will just replace it and the footage is and the footage is ready here um, so the next step is that tracking before that i will explain here the same option which we shown which we see in the uh, the project window we can see here here too so this was the name of the footage and uh, those steps are same we can watch here also HP footage 192.1080 and uh, 24 bit depth from the RGB if you want to add other footage we can add here and the same options are here too color space if you want to change the color space into log you can just click the log and automatically the footage is changed into, changed into log analog uh, there are some other options if you want to change the gamma just you can change it by just dragging or just double click it and just just filling it back these are the basic settings or basic requirements for opening a project in mocha 
we can see the project settings here uh, so we can edit the frames if we don't need so much frames here this is the area we have to just edit the frame ranges okay so these are the options uh, right now for the introduction okay uh, we will see how to track and some other stuff in some next class thank you